Hey fam, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. Today I'm doing a haul video of just really just randomness. Like it, this, I wasn't even planning on doing a haul at all and then just randomly I like collected a bunch of stuff and I want to share that stuff with you guys. So a few things came from Ulta and a few things are from Violet Voss. Yes, that's that's basically what we're doing here. What do you guys want to start with? Do you want to do Ulta? Do you want to do Violet Voss? Let's do the Ulta haul part first because that's kind of quick. Alok was running to Ulta for something and I needed brush. Oh my god, I'm like dropping my world over here. I really needed brush cleaner, and um, so he picked me up a few options. Well, first off, I want to tell you guys about this because I don't, oh no. I hope the sale didn't end today. Watch the sale ended today. So you guys are going to have to look online and see if it's still going on. But these were buy one, get one free. The Real Techniques and the Eco Tools, well... I think Real Techniques and Eco Tools were buy one get one free. I don't know what the Shibov is or the dealio, but you can look on the app or online or in their little their little booklet. But either way, some things buy one get one free and it applied to this. So this is the Real Techniques Deep Cleansing Gel for makeup brushes. Um so it's just, you know, yep, like a little shampoo, a little cleansing shampoo. And then I have the Eco Tools one. And this removes more than 90% of makeup, it says, and it's a makeup brush shampoo. Again. Oh, free of that. The yuckies that you don't want on your skin. The parabens and the phthalates and the carbs. So I have not tried either one of these out yet. If you guys have tried them, let me know. I was talking to a few of you chickadees on Snapchat last night going through my messages and it was so fun talking to you ladies. One person told me that they really did not care for this Real Techniques one and then someone told me that they did like it and then someone told me they didn't like the Eco Tools one and then someone told me that they did like it. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, literally I have two people on both ones saying that they like it and they don't like it. So I'm like, wow, I really feel like the judge here and you really need to figure this out. But my brushes are in desperate need of cleaning you guys. So Especially after Seamus, so I needed new shampoo, new new deep crazy like get that gunk out shampoo. So I'm really excited to try either one of those again. If you've used them, let me know. The next thing I needed just kind of like a quick spot cleanser that I won't have to wait for things to sham or dry overnight. You know what I'm saying? And I actually know that I really liked this from when I worked at Ulta way back in the day. It was really great. My Ulta had a Clinique in it. We used this on our brushes just personally, like working there, and I always really liked it. I love that it's a spray. It's really affordable. I I like that it's a slight pink color, and someone told me that it's the exact same one as the MAC Cosmetic one. And don't take my word on that. This, I don't know what this person, this person could have been just telling me a bunch of hoo-ha. That might not be a fact, so don't quote me on that, but that's what she said, and I've kind of just really, I've always really liked it, and I like the MAC one too, so. Now I feel like I'm gonna have, like, the cleanest brushes in the West, if you guys know what I'm saying. And then the two other items that I got from Ulta are cleansing products as well, but for, for your actual face, not for makeup brushes. This is the Biore Free Your Pores Great for Combination Skin Baking Soda Cleanser. The, I actually did not pick this out. Alok picked this out for himself. He really liked the baking soda aspect of it. I like that it says, don't be dirty. Hmm, baking soda, interesting. I guess that probably is, it penetrates your pores, gently exfoliates. Oh, it smells so good. I love how Biore products always smell. Oh, you guys, don't they like, they like, remind me of like being 13, like really fresh and like 13. You know, when you first like start getting your first pimples and you start using like the drugstore, like clean and clear that your parents buy, like all that stuff, the smells, they all remind me of like being 13. <laughs> Even though, like, literally, if I sit and think right now, I literally could not tell you what I was like when I was 13. I don't even remember, like, being 13. Oh my god, I don't remember anything. Sorry, you guys, I have, like, the most random hauls. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then the next thing, this was highly recommended to me from my friend Jackie. This is the Micellar Water Makeup Remover Cleansing Pads. You guys, these are bomb.com. This is a hydrating, no-rinse formula with aloe and cucumber. And I couldn't believe it because no offense to Ulta, you guys know I rubbed Ulta till the day I die. I love them. Um, I was never real hip on their skincare products. I didn't really care for them much. And the, this is what they look like. But these pads are so amazing because I'm gonna do it to you. I'm gonna drop the M bomb. They're so moist, okay? They're so moist. They are so nice and just like damp and they just have a lot of product on it. And they feel very soothing and they got all my makeup off. So I really, really, really was impressed with these. And that is it for my Ulta portion. Now let's move into what I purchased from Vila Voss Cosmetics. So as a lot of you guys know, Vila Voss is a brand online that I love. They have like false lashes, they have Glitter, liquid lipsticks, all types of things. So I actually have the new false lashes to show you today and I have the new liquid lipsticks to show you today. I ordered the false lashes and then I was sent the liquid lipsticks, just so you know. So Violet Voss makes some of my favorite lashes in the entire world, you guys know. So I was so excited when they came out with new lashes. These are limited edition, so you might want to pick them up. And they are a synthetic mink lash, by the way. Um, they are handmade, high quality, synthetic fibers. So they are not harming any animals. And they retail for $10 a pop. 
Pop. Now these launch February 8th, but they will be at IMATS in LA January 15th through the 17th. And no, I'm not going. I've been asked a lot lately. I still haven't been able to make it to the LA IMATS, but I really hope to make it to one of their events in the next year. Okay, let me just show you the lashes. So the first pair, this is called Just Slayin'. You guys are gonna love these freaking names. They are so, so funny. I love them. Look at this, just slaying. <laughs> they look like they're really nice and thin on the inner corners and they kind of wisp out on the outer corners. The next one, oh my gosh, you guys, these might be my favorite. Between the next two, I can't tell which ones are my favorite yet because I haven't even tried them on my eyes. This is in the style I Donut Care. Would you guys know I'm obsessed with donuts? So I'm obsessed with this. And they look beautiful though. Like, look how wispy and like, ugh. Oh. Just beautiful they are. And then the last style is called Sexy and I Know It. And these are like va va boom, like big, big, big lashes. But like I, does anyone else feel like you have to cut off like half the band on lashes, like for your eyes? I feel like I'm like cutting off more lash than I'm keeping every time. And lastly, you guys, they have all new liquid lipsticks. The very first one is called Muse and it's actually what I have on right now. This is it here. It's like a nice nude. I love them. They're really, really thin. It's really, really pretty. I'm not going to try these all on because my lips are so chapped. You guys, they would literally bleed if I tried to do a lip swatching video right now, so I'm really, really sorry. But it's just like the weather this weekend has just made my lips so freaking dry and chapped. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to do it on my Instagram probably tomorrow. The next one is in the shade Love Sick. The first one is Muse. That's this one here. They take a little while to dry, you guys. I'm kind of, I'm trying to let them get them to dry, but I wanted to show you their tones at least. So this is Muse. This one is Love Sick, which is this guy right here. You can see it's like a really pretty like lavender pink. It's gonna be fun for Valentine's Day. And then the last one is called Trist, and it's this pinkier one on the end here. So they're all really pretty pinky nudes. Obviously, Love Sick's gonna be a little like bright and a little little like Nicki Minaj's, like Nicki Nicki Minaj's MAC lipstick. That's what this reminds me of. Not Pink Friday, but the original, like just Nicki Minaj Viva. Glam Nikki, is that it? Muse, probably my favorite, probably the most wearable, okay? This is gonna be a hot one, so you might wanna grab that up. And then this is just a great rosy pink, the Trist. I really love this color. Okay, fam, and that was it for my haul today. I'm sorry it was a really short, like, little mini haul. I thought I had more things, and then I came back, and of course, always, no, that's not it. All right, fam, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this makeup, I did just film this look. It'll probably be up um, tomorrow. Just keep an eye out, because I did film it. It will definitely be up soon. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, fam, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today we're going to be doing live swatching the brand new ColourPop Cosmetics and Kathleen Lights collaboration collection, Where the Night Is.